This is an Ionker Raspberry Pi power supply. It's basically a JN power supply USB-C captive cable, 27 watts. Um, it's marketed for Raspberry Pi 5, but basically anything that needs USB-C charging. Um, this guy here says it will do power delivery. So five volts at five amps, nine volts at three amps, 12 volts at 2.25 amps, 15 volts at 20, uh, well, Actually, it doesn't say how many amps at 15 volts, but 27 watts maximum. So I was provided this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you about $17. They haven't paid me for my review, and so my opinion remains my own. So inside the packaging, we have a power supply. It is a switching power supply, and it comes with a relatively beefy cable here. So this is supposed to be able to provide five amps. Um, so I guess it makes sense that the cable's a little thicker, although it might just be insulation. Um, so let's plug this guy in and see how many amps and watts we get out of it. All right, I have this cable plugged into my USB-C load. Um, it is negotiated up to 15 volts at 1.85 amps, and so that is 28.3 watts. And so that's actually a watt higher than the 27 watt specifications here. So at 15 volts, this guy provides plenty of power. All right, I have my five volt USB load tester plugged in here. Um, you know, so there's one amp, which is five watts, and let's crank this guy up. I don't even know if my load will do a full five amps at five volts. So we're up to three amps. So there's four amps. And the voltage here is above five, it's 5.2 volts. Yeah, so I'm maxing out at 4 amps. So the highest I can test this guy at the 5 volt level is 4 amps. I'm getting, I'm actually drawing 4.1 amps. It's delivering 21.9 watts here. And so I don't have a tester that will max this guy out. But given that it was able to provide 28 watts at the 15 volt level, um, and it's doing 4.1 amps with absolutely zero voltage sag here, I'm going to say I'm pretty confident that this guy can provide 5 volts at 5 amps and give you 25 watts at a 5 volt level. So if you need to power something you know, up to 27 watts, this guy here will do it. Um, and it provides a very high amperage at the lower voltages here if you have a device that needs that. Now this is a relatively small power adapter. It's not super small to be a you know 27, 30 watt adapter, um, but I am going to run this at 27 watts continuously. I'm going to do this for 10 minutes. We're going to come and take a look at the heat this guy's producing. So this guy was so cool to the touch at the 10 minute mark, I decided to run it for 30 minutes total. So this has been running 30 minutes. It's been pushing 27 watts continuously for 30 minutes. Um, and it is warmer than it was at the 10 minute mark, but it still feels just barely warm to the touch, you know. So here, thermal camera says the highest point is 41 centigrade. Um, and, you know, I can hold my hand on that and that feels warm, but it's not at all hot. So this guy here, is very good with, you know, how much heat it's producing. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't have any problems with just leaving this just about anywhere. So yeah, I've been pretty impressed with this guy. It'll provide the five amps at five volts that your um, Raspberry Pi 5 could use. And it's also useful just in as a generic, you know, USB-C charger. It's a pretty capable 27 watt USB-C charger.